everyone. Welcome to this edition of Fine Dining. I'm your host, Lisa Jo. Well, remember in the beginning of this year, in the last episode, we went to a very artistic bookstore restaurant to try out some of their food. And this week, we're going to follow our artistic route, come to this very gallery-like restaurant, try out some of their European-style cooking. And what they're so proud of is their freshly delivered live mussel all the way from Holland. Chelsea & Co. is located at number 1 Yuyang Road near the Triangle Garden. It's a four-story building which provides a cozy and European atmosphere. The fourth floor rooftop can also house cocktail parties in their central downtown location. The name Chelsea originates from the fashion and culture block both in London and New York. Once stepping into the restaurant, you notice the artist decor in each corner, reflecting the restaurant's name. They actually invited a renowned Finnish artist to immortalize some of the dishes in abstract paintings. But the gallery-like atmosphere is only part of the draw. The really focus is on the food. We ordered beet cured salmon horseradish, homemade foie gras tachon, chorizo mussels, duck breast and gretan dauphinois, and dark chocolate fudge and salted caramel. All right then, so today I'm going to start my food voyage with this cured salmon. The chef is very interesting combining some of the local produce together. Horseradish and beetroot. Pickled, of course. Mmm, very nice. We see in some other restaurants the salmon is smoked to get a little bit of flavor and coloring um, or some of the aroma, but in this one, let me show you, they're doing a very special thing. The chef cured the salmon together with the beetroot and horseradish mix to get a very natural coloring for three days. So together you can eat and taste the horseradish and the beetroot flavor in the salmon. Crunchy, smoothy, a little bit of the juiciness. So together, you've got the flavor, you've got the texture, a nice start. This is the foie gras torchon. And torchon originally comes from the French name of kitchen tower. Um, and basically the chef would wrap the foie gras into a kitchen tower and then you give it the round shape and then you cut it into different pieces. Of course, the classic combination is with the dry fig. But for this one, um, I'm also a little bit surprised to see this roasted bread. Chef told me this is also one kind of the brioche that we see a lot commonly, the French buttered bread. But this one is a little bit roasted, so you see a little bit coloring on the top. So I'll cut a little bit of the bread with my dry fig that when you're eating foie gras that you're pairing with something sweet and fruity because foie gras is very fat. In fact, I like the idea that the chef put a little bit of sea salt on the top because most of the ingredients, they're very soft and smoothy. But when you're adding sea salt on the top, when you're chewing, you really get a little bit texture in your mouth. Mmm, and they did a very well balancing. Now we come to the mussel dish. Uh, we all know that mussel is really becoming more and more popular in local restaurants. Um, this is the classic combination with french fries. Um, the classic way of cooking mussel is white wine with cream or white wine with butter. But this one is a little bit special. Um, the chef uses the chorizo uh, sausage. It's a little bit spicy. Um, so the spicy sauce would add a little bit more flavor into the mussel dish. See, that's the chorizo sausage. Mmm, mmm, I like the sausage because the mussel flies every Thursday all the way from Holland live. Um, so I think the restaurant also gives a lot of effort to keep the freshness. Mm. Mmm, lovely. Let's begin with a typically French dish, duck breast. This dish is a little bit of the sweet everything combined together. Here is something very, very special. You think this is potato smash? No, not at all. This is parsnip. This is this kind of white carrot uh, puree. When you taste it, you can taste the very obvious, I won't call it strong, but it's very clear carrot taste. Um, this is how they call it potato gritten, um, because basically this is layered with cream, cheese, onion in the potato and then bake it. Obviously we're having the duck breast as our main ingredients. 
when you roast it, it's kind of giving it a little bit of aroma into it. And sometimes people would worry so much about the groomy flavor of the duck meat. But for this one, this is really well prepared. Although you think it's a little bit of sweet this and that, I think the chef has achieved his goal. All right, we finally come to the finale, our dessert. Usually this is sweet, but for this one, there's a little bit small touch, which makes it a little bit surprisingly good. Uh, we've got chocolate, we've got cream, but what's so special about it? The caramel on the top is salted. This is a very typical French dessert. So I will leave it now with myself indulging in my sweet dessert. And for you, you're always welcome to scan the QR code on the screen to follow up Weibo and WeChat and to know more about good food and food culinary culture. Bye for now. I'm so excited to see mussels on the menu here. It's the poor man's version of oyster. Um, it has a lot of nutritional value. It's got a lot of vitamin B. It has very low fatty acids. So it has, it's packed with protein. So in fact, it's just like a piece of steak, but without the saturated fat. And it's a product that uh, perhaps five or eight years ago was much more difficult uh, to bring into, uh, into the country on a regular basis and as a fresh product. So now basically, uh, they're pulled out of the sea in Europe and they're onto our tables here within 72 hours. You can see the homemade mayonnaise with the french fries, but instead of dipping it with the french fries, I was actually spread the homemade mayonnaise on the bread, put a big piece of fat mussels on there, and then eating it with the bread. I think this is very, it's actually a very filling.